the last year I went netting in this area where there were virtually no ground fish and no cod, I averaged about, for the whole season, averaged 10,000 pounds a day. The productivity of this half of the Gulf of Maine is tremendous if given uh, a, a chance. We didn't give it. We simply ground it into what it is today. But we have learned, because if we do, we have something that will last for generations again. So we're at the Nequasset Fish Ladder in Woolwich, and it's on Nequasset Stream. And at the head of the stream is a reservoir, and that is drinking water supply for Bath and several other communities around here. And the reason that there is a dam at this location is to regulate the amount of water that is held in the reservoir. At this site, since the 1600s, there has been required legislated passage over any barrier that was located here so that fish could pass over the barrier. But how is fish passage at the Nequasset Dam in Woolwich connected to cod fishery restoration in Maine? The Nequasset Dam is located on a tributary of the Kennebec River. The Androscoggin, Penobscot, and St. Croix are also among Maine's major rivers. Maine has more than 500 dams, many of which do not allow for fish passage. We had a speaker from Bowdoin College, John Lichter, came to speak about ecological recovery in the Kennebec River, specifically restoring the base of the food chain, restoring these migratory fish, the river herring, to the system so that then they could return to the sea and be a food source for the ground fish in the Gulf of Maine. The superintendent of the Bath Water District heard the lecture, understood with much greater um, comprehension the importance of alewives. And he said, wow, I, I have an alewife problem. I own a dam. It has a fish ladder. The fish ladder is falling apart. I understand now the importance of getting those fish over my dam and he walked basically across the street to the land trust office and said let's work together and figure this out. Nequasset is one of many projects to restore migratory fish populations by improving fish passage over dams. Another success story is the new fish lift at the Benton Falls Dam located on the Sebastocook River near Waterville, Maine. So the hopper just picked up about 1,500 fish and now it's going to head back to the top and come out. Benton Falls and Nequasset are part of a larger restoration effort. In 2010, as a scholar-in-residence at Bowdoin College, Ted Ames, a retired fisherman, found the connection between Maine's river systems and coastal fisheries. You look in Maine today and you've got lobster fishing. The whole concept of single species uh, management of the whole Gulf of Maine just doesn't work. Uh, the end result is, is we've depleted one fishery after another. River systems played a critical role, particularly in northern Gulf of Maine, by providing uh, a large and vibrant prey base for piscivores, for predator species of fish, like cod and haddock and pollock and so on. This uh, prey base was diminished tremendously by the construction of dams on all of New England's rivers. And uh, the end result was uh, a sharp decline in the number of alewives uh, entering the system each year. It's just much more than a fish story. This ladder, all this money, all these people is not just for the alewife. The alewife feeds so many different species. 
the contribution that we're making through this one small stream to restoring the ground fishery in the Gulf of Maine, I love thinking of that. This is a community-based restoration project. It just takes some personal initiative to realize that there's something that I can improve here. And you get a few people together and they all realize that they have an opportunity for common benefit and you figure out a solution. The stories that come to people as they visit this site, the history that they have within their own family, that's beyond just the fish.